Good morning, everybody. Otelia here from Madison Eats Food Tours. I just wanted to share a recipe with you that I fell in love with last weekend when uh, Cecilia and Silvana from Hong Kong Foodie Tours joined me on Instagram and taught me how to make Hong Kong style French toast. So I'm gonna show you, it's super easy, totally decadent, delicious, and um, I think you'll really enjoy it. So what you'll need is oil that's heated for frying, and they taught me a little secret that if you have a wooden chopstick, one way you can tell if the oil's ready is if you just stick the tip of the chopstick in, it should kind of sizzle. So my oil is, re oil is ready. You'll need some white bread. I just have basic grocery store white bread, but um, you could get something a little bit fancier if you want. Not necessary, whatever you have. Uh, day old is good also if you have kind of like a more stale loaf of bread. Um, Traditionally, it's only filled with peanut butter. Creamy peanut butter is probably the, the peanut butter of choice. I also love Nutella, especially with peanut butter, so I'm gonna use both of those. And I'm gonna add banana. Uh, and then you'll need eggs. So they soak the, the bread only in eggs, so there's no cream or anything like that added. So I have two eggs beaten in here. And then to top off the French toast, um, traditionally they would use uh, golden syrup. And since we're in Wisconsin here, I have some local maple syrup and also butter because everything is better with butter. All right, let's get started. So first thing you're going to want to do is spread, well, whoops, um, both sides. I'm just going to wipe this knife off here, both sides of the bread with peanut butter. So, and we're gonna cut off the uh, crusts on the bread, so don't worry too much if um, you get, you know, if the peanut butter doesn't go to the edges because we'll be cutting that part off. So I have peanut butter on both sides of the bread. I can make it so that you can see better. And then I'm just gonna put one layer of Nutella in one of these slices. All right. I love Nutella. I'm gonna put some banana slices in here too. And then I'm gonna close my sandwich. So right now, it looks like that. The next thing we wanna do is cut the edges off. So you wanna make it sort of like a rectangle. And this will help when we fry it. So now it's a little square with no crusts. From here, I am going to then soak the sandwich in this egg. So this is just eggs, two eggs beaten. Probably you could get two sandwiches out of two eggs, but really maybe you'd need three eggs for two sandwiches. So then I let the bread soak up the egg. You want it to be nice and soaked in, so give it a little bit of time. On each side. This oil is definitely ready. It's smoking a little bit. Okay, and then um, I'm going to turn it up on the edges to get the edges soaked in. So you want to make sure that you are also getting uh, the edges of the bread coated in egg. And then is this like a French toast on, I don't know, fancied up or on steroids or something? Because it's so fun, like you don't even know what's going to be inside until you bite into it. Unless you made it and then you know what's inside. All right, so the egg is pretty well soaked in it. It feels almost a little bit mushy, um, but that's okay. That's what we want. We want enough egg in there that's going to fry up nicely. So I'm going to put this right into the oil. So what we want to do 
do now is cook the egg evenly on each side. So we want to cook it on the front side, the back side, and then we also want to fry all of the edges. So we're going to rotate it upright as well, if that makes sense. I don't know if my hand gestures are making sense. Um, so what it's going to look like at the end is this. So you can see here that um, we have <laughs> the golden French toast stuffed with Nutella, peanut butter, and banana. The edges are all golden fried and it's nice and golden all over. The other thing that we do when we are ready to eat it, um, I mean once it's hot and out of the, the oil, is we put butter and maple syrup on as well. So you can kind of see that here. I'm going to give this one a flip. And it'll be ready to eat pretty soon. I'm going to take a bite of this one. I made this one ahead. Um, I don't have any forks in the... They're all dirty, so I'm using this olive fork and this random knife. But um, I'm going to give this a taste. You guys, look at that. Yum. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Mm hmm. So now I fry the sides like this. You guys, this is amazing. It's so good. And that's all it is. So this is a super easy recipe. I hope you guys try it and enjoy it. Hong Kong style French toast. Put whatever you want in it. You could adapt this and put in some savory fillings like ham and cheese or just peanut butter, which is the traditional way. Um, and if I didn't mention, Hong Kong style French toast was a, uh, was a snack that was brought by the British to Hong Kong. So traditionally it was eaten at tea time, uh, but really it's, you could really have this any time of day. I'm gonna have this for brunch today. And we're almost done here. I'm gonna have another bite and then that other toast will be done. Mm. Yum. And there it is. I'm going to let it drain on the paper towel for a couple of minutes, cut it up, um, put the butter and the syrup on it, and it will be ready to go. And they say do not skimp on the butter so this is not a time to fry up your Nutella peanut butter French toast and then not douse it in butter and syrup so you can use golden syrup but you can use honey or maple syrup and I'm using the maple syrup All right, you guys, that's it. That's how easy it is to make Hong Kong style French toast. I hope you try it, hope you love it. Have a great weekend.